In this week's Sunday homeschool lesson, we learn how fishers follow when Jesus calls his disciples, as found in the book of Luke, chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. Our helpers for this week are Harper and TJ with our opening devotion. Gary comes out from behind the camera to help with music. And Luella showcases our live activity. Today, Harper and TJ are helping me with our opening devotion, and I'm going to challenge you guys to keeping some rhythm. So I'm gonna clap a rhythm, and I want you to try to copy it. Do you think you can do that? Yeah. Okay, we'll yeah. start really easy. Okay, you guys have got that down, so let's try to mix it up a little bit. That was pretty good. Was it ever hard to listen for what the rhythm would be? That, that Sometimes camera will a little be bright. bright. You think the camera's gonna be bright? Uh -huh. I think we'll be okay. How was it to clap along with the rhythms? Well, it was the claim of me, but I would just put my eye in it and it will shine at my face. Okay, that'll be good. Yeah, because you don't want to shine in your eyes. That's right. Yeah, we don't want you to go blind. We also don't want you to go deaf, like keeping our rhythms. We had to listen, right? Mm -hmm. If you were blinded by the camera, would it be hard to focus? Yeah. yeah. Do you think it'd be a little frustrated? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. How do you think the disciples might have felt trying to catch lots and lots of fish when there were no fish to be caught? I, I think they felt frustrated because they were hungry, they couldn't eat. But what kind of? And there were like no fish so they couldn't eat. Yeah, then they had to follow directions. So when Jesus came and said, throw your net to the other side, and they did it and they caught fish, then how do you think they felt? They felt really happy and amazed because Jesus is is really magical. Yes, yeah, so it seems like if magic, they, doesn't it? If they catch a really lot of fish, they will land out from fish. Oh, you think so, huh? Uh-huh. Well, they were called to follow Jesus, isn't it? and it wasn't always easy, like clapping our rhythms but it was certainly rewarding as they became fishers, not of slippery fish, but of people. So that is what we are going to learn about today in our lesson. Let's tell them a little bit more about following Jesus. In our Bible lesson for today, we'll learn about Jesus calling his disciples. Fear, uncertainty, and even doubt didn't stop them from following Jesus. God instead gave them faith to listen to Jesus. And as they listened, they realized that Jesus knew them already and had great things in store for their lives. Instead of letting their feelings get in the way, they were moved by faith to follow Jesus. Following Jesus can be intimidating, scary, or even unknown. As sinful people, we sometimes refuse to follow. Doubt that Jesus can use us or following for the wrong reasons but Jesus knows us in immediately just like he knew what was in in the hearts of the these disciples he paid for our sin through his death on the cross he renews his call to us and he gives us the strength to follow him we follow Jesus every day by reading his word praying, going to church, and listening to what our pastors and teachers help us understand about the Bible. Jesus promised to the disciples that they would witness some incredible things by following him, like angels and the heavens being opened. We too have the promise of wonderful and amazing things when we follow Jesus. Will you pray with me? Dear God, we thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. Just as the disciples overcame their feelings, we pray that you would help us overcome our feelings of worry, uncertainty, or distraction. Give us the strength to follow you with our joy in our hearts. Amen. 
music this week, I coerced Gary to come out from behind the camera to be in front of the camera. He's been playing guitar for lots of our songs for our music each week. This week we're going to learn a song called Cast Thy Burdens. What better week to have a fishing pun than when Jesus calls his disciples, many of whom were fishermen. The actions go like this. Cast thy burdens, like you're casting a fishing pole, on the Lord, for he shall sustain thee. And then you're reeling in a fish. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved, like you're shoving something out of the way. And we repeat that, and then we sing, as for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me, evening and morning, and at noon will I pray, and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. We'll sing it through two times. For this week's live activity, Luella is helping show us how to make a paper plate fish. The instructions for this activity say to cut a triangle from a paper plate to make a mouth. Attach a triangle of colored paper to the back of the plate for a tail fin. Here's a quick and easy adaption. If you're going to cut out a triangle to be your fish's mouth, and you don't have any extra paper at home, that triangle that you just cut out can easily be turned in to a tail. The instructions then say to color the fish and glue on a wiggly eye. No wiggly or googly eyes at home? No problem. Just take a marker and draw in an eye for your fish. You can decorate your fish however you would like. If you have a regular paper plate, most markers, crayons, or colored pencils will work on it. If your plate is styrofoam, I'd recommend crayons. They typically work pretty well on styrofoam plates. The last bit of the instructions are really just an enhancement to your craft. It says to glue on pieces of colored tissue paper for scales. If you don't have tissue paper at home, that's okay. However your fish is decorated is just fine. But if you want to add more texture to your wiggly and swimming friend, tissue paper and some simple glue can be a fun way to add the texture of scales. To further adapt this craft, you could add a magnet to the back and hang it on the fridge. Maybe use a hole punch and hang it from the ceiling or on a loop. Anything to show off your craft and be reminded that Jesus called fishermen to follow him and catch people by telling them of his love. Jesus wants us to follow him too.